Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the second part of building your catch bucket for drywall dust. Okay, so we we cut our pipe. So this will be from your shop vac and go in there like this. So I got to looking at it and I didn't like how it didn't have no bracing on it. So it wasn't strong holding at all. Like it was just wiggled around in there. So what I did is just took some decking screws I had laying in a box, put one across here like this. See it there? And then put a decking screw through like this in the lid. And then I put another decking screw from this side into the lip just where it comes to the f first part right here. See, this the one going this way is the top one. So now that secured it up there. So now we gotta figure out how far we're gonna take our white hose here. How far do we want to send this through the bucket? And another quick thing is if you take a screwdriver or something and scrape this old putty out of here, it just helps it seal a little bit better. So we gotta figure out exactly how long we're going to extend this piece down to the water. So when it's sitting in the bucket, so I repeat. This, the white hose will be your suction hose. The black one here will be your uh, inlet hose going to your shop back. Okay, and I'll bring it back in a second when I figure it out. Okay, so this is your suction hose. And you want to determine where your water line is going to be and either mark it and or just find some lettering here where the top line is is where the hose comes to so we're going to put keep out a reach of children right there we're going to come to that there's like there's no really certain rhyme or reason to go to a certain point but our water line will be let me flip a bucket up on the side our water line will be to right here so it's just got a little ways to shoot it out so this is where we're going to glue it and stuff and I'll use some hot glue just to attach it first and then we will use uh, some silicone to really get it to stuck together good all right I'll bring you back in a sec Okay, so not sponsored by them or nothing. This is just what I had laying in the drawer. We're using this type of glue. And then once we fill the gaps with this glue, we're going to put uh, clear silicone on it. Just a little bit extra protection. But just like that, go all the way around. And if you want to glue your screws, that's fine too. Just so they can't move which they ain't going to but whatever your For extra protection yep pretty much so you see the gap we still got along the side right here where my finger is see that gap so we'll pipe some down around it just give it a little love there Turn it over this way so you can see it. And focus. And they do sell these like 40. I've seen them come in the kit with a shop back for like 150, whatever. But I had this stuff laying around the house, and literally, this did not cost me anything to make. So I figured it was be a good one to use up some stuff that's not getting used for nothing else so as you see we piped it all the way around I missed a little, little spot right here piped it all the way around shoot a little dab in there Just 
we get. And check the back side, make sure we got all the gaps. Shoot a little bit more in there. Just like that. Like I said, we'll we'll take the silicone and put another bead on it just so it sets good. I'm sure this would be enough, but extra protection. Pretty much. Alright. I'm bringing you back in one second when I do this one. Okay, so I marked my line here of what depth it's going to be setting in the bucket. So, we'll take this. And we'll take this and slide it back down in here to the depth we want it. Like I said, there's no really certain thing, but we marked it on the line so we know where to fill the water to. You can just put a shadow behind the bucket and you can see it in there. Using it. All right. Turn it off, Lane. So now we marked it to where we wanted it. So now we can take our glue gun and just shoot some glue in around the crack here. Just make sure your pipe is facing outward so you get a little better reach because unless you 